What's the <laughs> Beautiful people. I just started the video and I stopped because there's a fly I won't leave my face alone. And as soon as I stopped it, I went to press play again. It sat here. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> Please. Just for five minutes. <laughs> So, look at me in a big white space. <laughs> it's calm into the energy. There's so much frantic energy. I don't mean here, I mean in the cosmos at the moment. There's so much moving around and things squaring and shifting and going into oppositions. July. It's a very busy, busy time for the music of the spheres. So, energy check today. What are we looking at? What's coming towards us? So we have gear, year, gear. How do you want to say it? The sleepy storehouses where we store future possibilities. There's something here because you've got hemphereld. It's like putting down navigational markers so that we know exactly how to find our way into the now, but we have to, it's not today's now, it's a future now. And so we're laying down stores, supplies, energetic thoughts, emotional truths to bleed into our future. And then, because I always think this is a projection, what's it projecting? It's kind of projecting itself as a fraction because this is 55, and 22, which is a projection of 77. So bursting free from mm, it's igniting the water phoenix. That's what this is about. It's feeling that cosmic connection, but somehow you have to store more in your future storerooms, in that sleepy storeroom, you need to put more in and it needs to be less of the energies where you doubt, less of the energies where you fear, and more of the energies where you understand your true power, where you offer yourself a way forwards, a loving way forwards. And that has wicker craft at the end. So really this, setting something into the future storerooms so that you can sit in your future now and allow that energy to flow back towards you. What, how do we do it? Well, really, I keep saying it's about imagining more bliss, creating more joy in your future, allowing yourself to accept that the cosmos has your highest good. Waiting to come to you, but that's a belief you have to make. The flies all over my knee. So alchemy of astrology, energy check-in. So betting, besting bet noir, Scorpio. There's something here about the energy of a redeath. Um, so like you've done this before, but you've done it previously by dying. This is about doing this energy while alive. And it's besting bet noirs, you do that by imagining 
better futures for yourself, taking away the old patterns. Not being seduced by the shadows of how you view yourself. Look, I was meditating this morning and I was thinking about how I've come here to face off ghosts of my past. Um, I put myself into awkward and difficult shadow frequencies so that I can transmute them and move my life forward so that I can store. So when I'm in this place, or any place or space where there are shadows, I try and lay down the notion of those shadows being illuminated so that I can find the nutrients within them and put the nutrients into my future storeroom. The gifts that feed back into our now. But I also feel <laughs> I also feel like I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> I'm just going to move in joy. So it's interesting, <laughs> best thing about noirs, removing the shadows which are ancestral echoes, they're codes within your DNA. And by removing them, that's what's allowing you to embark on your journey home to your future now that's blissful no longer in that energy where self-criticism is part of the frequency, but you have to recognize the ways in which we self-criticize, pull yourself up on them to ignite your water meadow. They're very powerful numbers, 775522. So spirit is your anchor. Spirit is the marker that you need to leave in your future. Knowing that we all are entitled to much better, more blissful, more comfortable spiritual existences. And then we have Sappho, which is a sensual wordsmith, but it's not coming across as an energy of other. It's coming across as the energy of your relationship with Spirit. What is spirit? Well, our first connections with spirit tend to be through our elven self, our Lifruma self, that energy of us sitting in the elven ring, singing tones of love to everything so that it can feed back down to you. So speak to your elven self. Thank your elven self for the fact that it holds tones of love for you, for humanity, for all living things, for all inanimate objects. It's the energy that animates everything. And it's all of us. We're all part of that elven ring. We're all one in the fruma. And then Moon in Leo, is talking about a kind of explosive, creative inspiration, but it's really about riding cosmic waveforms. And that seems to be the message, is tune into you, tune into your true loving self that wants only wondrous energies for everyone. They're showing me uh, the, this as an octagon. What does that mean? Right, so there's an energy here in this octagon which is a frequency where we can lean towards being overly dramatic. Whereas we need to just sit in this 
truthful knowledge that we are gifted to receive our elven frequency. I think there's something in here which is about voicing Not voicing the past, not voicing ancestral echoes, but voicing the union of you and the union of the elven you. And that will allow this flow to come in as a creative, explosive inspiration. It's self-expressive fun. So have a word with yourself and then go out and try and spend today having fun. Don't get caught up in the spiritual endeavor, accept that it's part of your core nature and go out into the world today and have physical fun. Yeah, look, bottom of the two decks, Saturn and Ula. So Saturn is this energy in which it's got an energy of this within it. This notion of how the cosmos feels like it wants to sort of put restrictions on you. But just let go of the spiritual for a day and go and explore with all of your senses enjoyment go out today and enjoy yourselves so that's the message i'm going out to enjoy myself actually but maybe i'll make a video about that later <laughs> so wassail beautiful i feel like i've got to let that ring Yesterday it went crazy. It got faster and faster and then more and more notes came in. It's a call to fun. There's more. That one's more distant. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Anyway, have a beautiful day. Go out and enjoy yourselves. Engage in the real world. Because Saturn is engaging in the real world. To so go and engage in the real world and put all your feelers into physical sensations.